why am I here? Well, my name is Mark Hostler, and I am a founding member of a hard to describe kind of artists collective of some sort. I don't know what you, but our group's called Negative Land, and we've been together for 30 years. We've been doing uh, all kinds of collage with uh, sound, noise, music, film, animation, and performance on radio shows. Uh, uh, I do lectures, um, w but we've we've always appropriated things and mix them in with our own original creations and combine them. And we've always liked taking things we find. We get inspired by the stuff we find and we reuse them in new ways to, to make work that's oftentimes critical of or commenting on the things we, uh, we found. Because our work definitely touches on these kind of I I social justice kind of themes in our work and we're seen as being kind of somewhat activist artists and also because our works across all mediums I, I think that they, they thought that uh, I would make a, a good candidate for being asked to jury the show. Because the show is, is, you know, it was open to any kind of medium at all. I mean, I'm used to working in this, you know, in a collective where you're always having to debate and think and argue out ideas and figure out what's the best thing. And, and so it, it's a, the process of trying to, to weed through and sort it all out is, you know, feels pretty familiar to me. It's just, I'm doing it now with other people's work. Some of the students work in here strikes me as, I mean, I like it. I like everything that's in the show, for sure. But I think some of the work seems a little bit like, maybe this isn't the thing you would normally do as an artist, but you were challenged by your professor to say, here, we have a theme show. Do we want you to do something with a social justice kind of approach? So find some issue or something you can, are, are concerned about or care about or feel strongly about and do some type of work. And we have people doing fine art, you know, and sculpture, Video, we have people who were doing stuff that's more like a fake ad campaign, you know, real coming from a graphic design uh, background. And so some of the work seems a little bit like the students are trying real hard to just fulfill the assignment. Some of it has that feeling. Other work feels like, no, this is just coming very naturally and organically out of who they are and what they're interested in anyway, in terms of the direction of their work. But that being said, I mean, I, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of, there's some just really beautiful work, you know, really, really talented and, and work that really seems like, you look at it and you think, yeah, this person f seems very committed to what they're doing creatively and I'm sure they're gonna keep doing work for a long, long time. Like you get that sense of this, this isn't just something you dabbled with in college for a little while and then dropped it. You know, there's some stuff here that I, I, I would certainly expect you come back to visit these people, you know, 20 years from now, they're still gonna be, be in making art.